This will happen when you stop eating sugar for 14 days. Imagine a life where you're not constantly craving sweets, where your energy levels are stable and your mind is clear. Intriguing, isn't it? Welcome back to the channel, a space dedicated to guiding you towards a healthier, more vibrant life. Today, we embark on a fascinating journey, understanding what happens to your body when you eliminate added sugar for a full 14 days. While the idea might seem daunting, the insights and benefits we'll uncover are nothing short of astonishing. In this video, we'll delve deep into the transformation that occurs when you step away from sugar. We're going beyond just cutting out the sweets. It's about unraveling the profound impact sugar has on our health and discovering the empowering feeling of taking back control. So, join me as we navigate this enlightening experiment. And together, let's see what two sugar-free weeks can really do for our well-being and vitality. Now that we understand the why, let's talk about the how. Embarking on a sugar-free journey requires more than just willpower. It's about strategic planning and mindful choices. To effectively quit sugar for 14 days, here's the approach we took. A set of simple yet powerful rules that guided us through the challenge and ensured success. The guidelines were straightforward and easy to follow. We started by cutting out all food and beverages that had added sugars. This involved steering clear of typical items such as sodas, sweets, cookies, pastries, ice cream, and even sugar-laden coffee. However, our diligence extended beyond the obvious. We meticulously examined the labels on packaged foods and sauces, searching for hidden sugars known as high fructose corn syrup, dextrose, maltose, and sucrose. Rather than relying on these processed choices, we shifted our attention to consuming foods rich in nutrients and whole ingredients. Our diet primarily consisted of fruits, vegetables, dairy, nuts, seeds, and whole grains, all natural sources of sugar. Staying hydrated was also a crucial part of our strategy, involving a lot of water and herbal teas to keep any residual cravings at bay. Now, let's explore the impact of these dietary changes on our bodies over time. The first segment of the journey, spanning days one to three, is often where the greatest challenge lies. For many, these initial days are a stern test of resolve and commitment in the face of craving and discomfort. In this phase, individuals typically experience their body's adjustment to the sudden lack of added sugars. This transition is far from smooth. Cravings for sugary treats intensify, especially after meals or during periods of boredom or stress. But it's not just about battling the urge for sweetness. Withdrawal symptoms, including headaches, fatigue, irritability, and mood swings, make their presence felt, creating a sense of deprivation and a strong temptation to abandon the challenge. Yet, surrender is not the chosen path. Reminding oneself of the long-term benefits is crucial. To navigate through these turbulent early days, several tactics prove effective. Chewing gum to distract from cravings, opting for fruits to satisfy the sweet tooth naturally, brushing teeth to reduce the longing for sweets, and engaging in various activities to divert attention from the cravings. Moving into days four to seven, a remarkable shift occurs. This period often marks a turning point in the sugar-free challenge, where the initial shock starts to fade and a new normal begins to take shape. As the body adapts, a significant decrease in appetite and sugar cravings is commonly observed. Individuals find themselves more content with their meals, reducing the need for frequent snacking. There's a notable increase in energy levels and alertness throughout the day, replacing the familiar sugar-induced highs and lows that often lead to feelings of sluggishness and sleepiness. Furthermore, mood improvements are aberrant. A sense of positivity and optimism starts to replace the earlier irritability and mood swings. This emotional uplift is accompanied by a growing sense of pride and accomplishment. This phase teaches valuable lessons about the body's adaptability and the hidden potential of natural, unprocessed foods. Participants often discover a newfound appreciation for the taste of natural foods as their palate adjusts away from artificial sweetness. As the journey enters its final stretch from day 8 to 14, participants often report entering the most rewarding phase. This period is characterized by a profound sense of liberation and a multitude of positive physical and mental changes. In this concluding week, the sensation of being freed from sugar addiction becomes prominent. Individuals typically experience a feeling of lightness and leanness, often noticeable in the face and midsection. Skin clarity is another remarkable change with many observing clearer, 
brighter skin and a reduction in breakouts and blemishes. A decrease in bodily inflammation is also common, leading to less joint pain and muscle soreness. On the cognitive front, improvements in focus, sharpness, memory, and concentration are frequently reported, contributing to an overall sense of mental clarity. As the challenge draws to a close, it's a prime opportunity to ponder over the extensive physical and mental transformations that have taken place. This period serves as a reminder to value the body's intrinsic detoxification capabilities, notably in the liver and kidneys, while also acknowledging the improvements in digestive health and bowel regularity. This newfound state of health often serves as a strong encouragement to persist with a lifestyle that includes reduced sugar consumption. In light of the journey we've just explored, it's clear that a 14-day hiatus from sugar can lead to remarkable transformations in one's body. However, the benefits extend beyond this short period. Eliminating sugar can significantly reduce the risk of chronic diseases, bolster the immune system, enhance mental health, and potentially extend one's lifespan. It's important to remember that quitting sugar doesn't equate to a permanent ban on sweet indulgences. Instead, it's about developing a more conscious and moderate approach to sugar consumption. One can opt for natural sweeteners like honey, maple syrup, or stevia as healthier alternatives to refined sugar. Homemade desserts, incorporating fruits, nuts, seeds, and dark chocolate can replace processed sweets. Occasional treats are still on the table, without any associated guilt, provided they are balanced with a nutritious diet and a healthy lifestyle. This approach allows for enjoying life's sweet moments while maintaining overall well-being and health. How do you feel about this? Do you want to try a 14-day no-sugar challenge and see the changes in your body? If you're ready, I invite you to join me in this challenge and let me know how it goes in the comments below. Your story could help and inspire others. And remember, if you liked this video, please show your support by liking and sharing it with your loved ones. For more videos like this, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to get notified of my new uploads. Thank you for watching, and I hope to hear from you in the next one. Best wishes on your health journey.